Hello guys and welcome to another GBHL YouTube video. This is your host GBHL Steve and this is an unboxing of some hot off the press really cool stuff. It could possibly be the uh, first unboxing of these fellas uh, that I've seen so far, possibly, maybe. Um, at the weekend I attended the Warhammer World Hobbit SBG GT which was an amazing experience. It was my first GT. I never went to any of the older ones um, I was more of a collector and modeler, modeler in them days rather than a gamer. I've um, been to Warhammer World before for Hobbit events for like Throne of Skulls and such, but not for a GT. Uh, and I must say, it was a really, really cool experience. Lots of really cool people there. I had seven awesome games. Uh, I'm sure I'll be letting you know all about that in a maybe tournament review very soon. We'll see how we go. Um, so it's the Iron Hills Goat Riders that we're going to be unboxing today. Um, what I'll do is I'll just show you the box art, which may have come up on the screen because they just look uber cool. You see that? As you can see we've got three separate poses, so we've got quite a lot of stuff to show you in the unboxing. Uh, I have unboxed them already, as you can see, and I've placed them out on the hobby desk for us to go through. Um, one of the cool things about the new stuff coming out of Forge World at the moment is um, the little bits and bobs for scenic bases that come. Um, so as you can see they come on 40mm uh, cav bases and each cav base has a different little piece for your scenic base. So you can add that to your base, pop your goat on top and um, yeah, just add sand or grass or whatever it is you want to add around it and it just what that also does um, which is really nice it gives your goat a nice sturdy adhesion to the base rather than just pinning uh, a hoof or two hoofs you can get a nice contact on this base as you can see the little hoof markers for it where it goes um, and then you can glue this fully to the base and it just makes it a lot easier uh, and saves a lot of you know, um, things falling off bases and snapping off the pins coming out, etc. You see, it's quite cool. Got an Iron Hills helmet there, a few rocks, some sand, etc. So that's a nice one. That's the first one. And the second one. There we go. We've got a Berserker sword on there, and, and kind of, if you can see where the hooves go, it looks like it's skidded to a halt, which is really cool. Uh, I quite like that. That's the second. And the third, nice big Gondabad sword, a bit of rock work again and as you can see again it's got a nice uh, area and slot where the hooves will fit perfectly, you can get a nice contact with your plastic glue or your super glue, whichever you may use for your bottles. So that's the three um, parts of the scenic bases which is really cool. From there what I'll do is I'll get you some close ups on the camera, just move them out of the way. So we've got a bit more room. We've got some close-ups of the camera, the pieces and the sprues, and you can have a proper look. They are awesome, awesome models. I was really, really impressed. Um, so what we have here is some separate legs on a sprue, and you can see the fur on there and the hooves. And what this does, I mean, I've not obviously they're still on the sprue, so I've not tried to put them together, but looking at them it looks like some of the things might be interchangeable so even though it's only a very slight, I mean if you look at all them poses, leg poses, they're quite similar um, but what you may be able to do, again don't quote me on this, but it looks like especially something like these two you could chop and change, so if you've got multiple packs you can slightly change how each um, pose looks which is always a good thing, especially for people, converters like myself have this thing about models not looking the same on the battlefield and I'm, I'm not keen on it so that's really cool from the hind legs of the goat we'll move on to we've all seen these before on the other sprues so we have one with two spear stroke lance arms because you do get to use the spears as lances whilst mounted which is really awesome um, so we've seen them before really like them spears they look really cool uh, and they're quite easy to paint for the second weapon sprue we have a third spear stroke lance and we also get a mattock. Uh, so we've all seen in the profiles about you can swap out and get a mattock um, which is cool. So this is the first actual mattock that I've seen I think on the on the release of the Iron Hills releases. Now you, I think this kind of gives you a choice. Um, you know you can swap out uh, a, 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 
a spear for a mattock for your regular troops but at the open day uh, you'll hear a lot more about this online but we've seen some upcoming sprues and there is a second command uh, pack coming for the Iron Hills which is awesome so another banner bearer which is beautiful and another captain model which is <laughs> an insane model it's it's really really nice and he has a mattock so what you could do in theory is make one of your goat riders captain with a mattock as well because he does have the option uh, for the war goat which is really cool um, so yeah so you've got a few again a few options which is what I, re I really like the direction they're going uh, giving you a lot of options for your forces which is cool these look like they are the rear end of the armor so maybe just at the back just at the back of the seat um, they're separate so you get three of those and then we'll move on to the, the horns of the goats which another this is another cool thing so you've got the first set which are there which curl round and to the back can you see that if I hold it on a profile view so they curl round to the back a second set which are very similar but they curl round to the back and then start to sort of come forward can you see so the see the difference slightly different curvature on them and then the third set which are really sort of curved back and twisted forward yeah so you're gonna get three sets of horns I hold them there it's gonna be very hard to do this but I'm gonna try my best so three sets of horns all with different curvature on there we go can you see and it looks like the contact point on them, on all three, is almost identical. So again, what that means is, you've got three poses of the actual goats. Um, if you've got multiple packs, you don't have to sort of stay uniformed and have one pose that goes with one set of horns. You can swap them around so they look slightly different, which is cool. I'm going to have to check the goat from some movie shots. What sort of... Um, shape the horns were on Thorin's goat because I am going to be doing a Thorin conversion very very soon am I going to do the others uh, like the, the Keely and Feely and Dwalin I'm not too sure because we, we, it's highly likely we're going to get the models but I really want Thorin and a goat uh, to play with I think that would be awesome so well, now we're going to get onto the cool bits the actual models themselves so we can have a look at the sculpts so we'll start here this is the first one you see really nice crisp detail uh, really really like the pose this is more of a, a trotting pose he's upright yeah Can you see it really cool really cool so good I'm so so impressed with these sculpts I mean they just look it's just something that we've not seen before uh, in like you know with the war goats etc this is all totally new so it just sort of gets, gets the juices flowing and then you've got the second pose which is more as you can see is more leaning forward as if the goat is striding forward again they're all very similar poses just with subtle differences that make a you know an, a, a big impact I can't wait to get these put together and get some paint on them I really can't um, I, ha I am gonna I've got nine um, I've got nine, so I'll have eight if I, if I convert one. And I'm, I'm toying with the idea of a full war band. It, they, they are expensive, but uh, you know we're not here to talk about the price. This we all know about the prices, etc. But this is just an unboxing and to appreciate the, the sculpts themselves. Yeah, that's a third pose, and he's kind of rearing up. Can you see? So hold it back. He's kind of rearing up or jumping, as goats do. You ever see like mountain goats as the sort of traversing up? steep hills and rock faces they kind of hop um, and it sort of captures that really well the, po the, the sculpts are awesome I mean I think most of us are big fans of the Iron Hill sculpts already um, and they just look really good really good so good um, I was kind of hoping it was going to be separate from the goat itself the, the mount but it's, it may convert it easier but I, you know I'm not, I am not complaining these are beautiful and that is the third pose. So that's everything that you get in the blister. 
Um, really, really impressed. Really, really happy. It would have been nice, possibly, to get an extra mattock. Um, you know, or maybe three spears and three mattocks. Um, you only get one. I'm not sure as to why. If there was any anything I had to pick um, to change, that would be it. But it's not the end of the world. Um, I think the profile and the benefits you get from having uh, the lance, the spears are going to be more prevalent anyway, and that probably is the way they were thinking. Um, but yeah, you can still get you can still swap out and get some matic guys in there, or get the matic wielding captain in there because um, he can piercing strike or bash, if my memory serves correct, uh, and piercing striking uh, captain on a go on the charge would just be insane. Um, that's going to do some damage. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my uh, riders put together and base coated and then hopefully you're going to see these guys let's say by the end of next month I'll have made a start on them and they'll be in a hobby vlog so keep an eye out for that if anyone else has got these let's pick them up and um, you know they've you start you've started work on them I'd be really interested to see uh, what you've done how, how you've gone about it but whether you've done any conversions using the matic etc not conversions you know what I mean you've, you've changed things up um, that'd be really interesting to see. Uh, so yeah, let us know. And that's the end of this unboxing. So uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Um, so comment, like, share, and subscribe. Support your hosts uh, in the links below. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Support your Hobbit hobby. Pick these up. These are awesome. And happy strategy battle gaming. Take care, guys.